Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today, I am testing out a new wallpaper behind the camera for a new effect on the video. Instead of black background, how about put a photo, like a green screen effect, and for whatever reason my brain finally decided, thought of, hey, your video cam feed is only in the center, well, the, there are two borders on both sides of me, you can't see my hands because there's a border, a black border. So those borders on both sides of me, well, the camera, there was nothing there. The camera feed is only in the center, s centered screen in the middle of the project area. So what you're seeing, well the image is, there was nothing there. The camera is in the center, then there would be blackness, a border. And my brain finally said, hey, why not use a wallpaper behind your video feed add a background to it to add more to the video maybe it can uh i don't know it could add some something more to the video instead of special effects people usually use a still photo like of nature, a lake, trees, flowers, angels, uh, clouds, maybe. For whatever the, um, the video subject is on, they could use a photo that could correspond to it. I guess I have seen a video, well, all you saw was a, an image which did not move. There was no cam, there was no nothing but the still image. Instead of doing that, which everyone has done, why not do this type of video? Have borders, instead of a border, use a wallpaper background image behind the camera instead of have the just the let me just do this instead of seeing just this just this photo i decided to have the cam on top now you see me cam on top of this background wallpaper image and I'm like, five minutes of that nonsense? Hot garbage! Hey! But, yes. I don't know if I want this background or do I want this one. This one or this one. I don't know. Um... I like them both. Maybe I can figure out how to mirror it. No, that would be a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know which, which image I like. Let me see if I can do a... Uh, change the... That color filters. So this is again behind the scenes type of thing color key, maybe, uh, that's probably not what I want, no, that is not what I want, 
it would be easier if I already done this in GIMP, however, I don't I wanted to see if I can change the color in OBS. And apparently, I don't know if I can or not. Maybe color correction is what I want. Hue shift. Yes, I can do... Not sure what... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I can do a hue shift. I don't want yellow, but... I'm thinking this this one until I don't know I feel like I need a little bit more uh, blue to it so let me go and gimp why not do a reaction to this uh, behind the scenes type of video but you can't see anything except for my facial expressions so why not that's another random video but and then again it is a test anyways to see what the background could do for me. It could help uh, the serenity of the videos I will do in the future. I don't know. Um, if you can find a... Well, what's more cosmic than this type of background? I took this photo from a VR chat. Uh, yesterday, I sh I showed the uh, the reaction to the, the first world I went to, and not the tutorial home world. I went to another world, and in the background, well, in one of the rooms, you could see this cosmic sky, and that's all you saw was this cosmic background, and I took a screenshot of just that. Well, you don't see the, uh, the room structure. All you see is the sky background. So, yeah, I took a picture from VR chat. Instead of hunting down Google for an image, so, yes. Uh, right, this would be easier if I just drop and drop? Drag. Drag and drop, sorry. Okay, pictures. So this is the kind of the back behind the scenes of how my brain works a bit, basically. Uh, you don't really see get to see how people think process, thought process very often. Unless that's just a Patreon thing now. Was I still need to look into? Okay. I don't know if I want to mirror this and see what would happen. Mirror and screen. Actually, that is pl to my surprise, that is actually quite pleasant. Um, can I... I'll just add a window to this real quick. Window capture. Okay, here we are in GIMP, and this is what I have found. Huh. That looks blue in OBS and yet in GAMP it's is it my monitor. It's the monitor. My monitor is showing purple and my other monitor is showing this blue. So okay. So I don't know how if this would do anything for I mean in the video like I said showed earlier the behind the cam. Uh, so not 
sure how this will go, but let's see. Desktop. Export. Save Gamma. Export. And wait for that. But yeah, this is just a, a chill video. Do do do. Okay. Go to desktop. Find image. And drag and drop. Colors. Levels, and let's see, let's see what this does. Oh, was not expecting that. Okay. But for this project, I don't want that crazy... What would happen if I just... Okay. We'll argue. Huh, okay, color enhance kinda did something. What if I. Yeah, that's what I thought. No invert. I gotta try. To decrease the red a bit. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's the purple hue. Uh this this cloud right here that I'm showing with the mouse. That's what is uh changing. Excellent. I'm gonna export this image now. I'm just gonna save that as a three. Export again. Okay. Now go over to OBS. Go back to the first window. Go to image. Import image. Uh, Nope, you, no, you're gonna see what I'm doing. Import this. Scrunch it down. Fit to screen. And voila. Oh, that is, that is cool. I mean, that, that is the, what, yes. Okay, we are getting some well. Do the same thing, but with the color correction that I did. Fit to screen, drag, drown. Okay, so we have this blue. Ooh, I, ooh, I really do like that one. Purple. What what one I like? I think I like the mirrored image more. But I, do I want the color correction or? Okay, I'll try the color correction first and see what the fans think. Uh, do comment. We. Uh, I think I'll just maybe I can switch it every other. I don't know what I will do in the future. Until we meet again.